Hello everyone, my name is Nabila Safi and I'm a board certified nurse midwife. Um, I will be discussing the results of the quality improvement project. That was also my doctoral scholarly project for the University of Utah. The project title is Increasing Afghan American Women's Awareness of Cervical Cancer and Prevention. Now the goal of this project was to increase awareness of cervical cancer prevention and screening among Afghan American women in the Salt Lake Valley through culturally tailored educational sessions. A little bit of background information on cervical cancer. It is the fourth leading cancer throughout the world. In 2015, only in the United States, we had about 12,845 new cases of cervical cancer and 4,175 women that died of this disease. Cervical cancer is preventable through routine screening and HPV vaccination. Current cervical cancer rates in general US population are declining and screening rates are increasing. However, the screening rates for cervical cancer in foreign poor women remain low and the mortality rate from this disease is high. Studies have shown that foreign born women are less likely to to screen for cervical cancer than the U.S. born woman. Now, Afghan women are also less likely to engage in preventative, uh, preventative exams. There are about 100,367 Afghan population that live in the United States. Now, we have to keep in mind that that country has been in a war for the past 50 years, and there hasn't been an established educational system, especially for women. Therefore, the majority of our, our participants were unable to read and write. There has also been very few studies that have addressed the educational needs of this population, which was the main reason for making this project crucial to me. To complete, to complete the project, I was able to meet, uh, I was able to contact and then meet um, with about 43 Afghan American women that were age 18 to 65 who spoke either Pashto or Farsi, and these are both the two major languages that are spoken in Afghanistan. We met individually, individually or in small groups of three to five participants um, in their home settings. They were first given a pretest to assess baseline knowledge of cervical cancer prevention, and then they were given an informal educational session. With cultural congruency in mind, the educational sessions included printed materials with pictures and some teaching supplies such as a cervix model, cider brush, speculum. And then the session was followed by handing out brochures that were printed either in Pashto or Farsi. And it also had uh, culturally appropriate terms and pictures as well. All this was then followed by a post test, um, which was aimed to assess the participants' knowledge and their intent to screen and vaccinate. Now, our results were amazing. So after analyzing the data of pre and post test, it showed a significant improvement in knowledge um, and these women's intent to vaccinate. The results also highlight highlighted the barriers these women faced in receiving care including lack of information, which was about 60% for testing and 13% for vaccinating. Discomfort during this test was at 30%, while 95% would be hesitant to receive testing if they had no female provider. Other barriers included language, past experience, lack of insurance, and transportation. This project concluded that the educational programs that this educational program specifically improved knowledge and awareness of cervical cancer among Afghan American women. We found that barriers to preventative services are culturally derived in part of the health system. Access to health is linguistically and culturally driven. Culturally sensitive educational programs are much needed to address knowledge and awareness in immigrant groups. And that increase in knowledge and awareness can help lead to women and their families seeking preventative services. Thank you all and stay safe.